Physics of the Mega Loop. Right at launch, the kite is pulling mostly up, and it's experiencing apparent wind of wind speed plus whatever small upward motion it may have. Now we see the kite starting its turn, its loop. It's almost pivoting here. As the kite starts to loop, it accelerates and its speed through the air increases significantly. So we have the force about 45 degrees now, a little more horizontal pull than vertical pull. So this force vector, the black line, is the force the kite is exerting on the rider. And we can break that down into a vertical and a horizontal component. The vertical will counteract gravity, and the horizontal will only be affected by the inertia of the rider. So once that rider gets accelerated horizontally, he's going to keep going unless we do something about it. Here we have the maximum force. And notice how almost horizontal this force vector is. This is going to be a very strong pull, almost completely horizontal. And this is why we see such an increase in horizontal motion between these two slides. Again, we have the kite's circular rotation through the air, creating its own apparent wind over the airfoil, and we have the 25 knots of wind hitting the canopy square on, adding to this pulling force. However, this won't last forever. As the entire system is accelerated, up to close to wind speed, the aerodynamics will break down. Here I've calculated this at about 24 miles an hour horizontal, an average of 1.2 G acceleration. At this stage, we've extracted almost all of the energy we can out of the wind. The entire system is traveling with the wind, so the wind speed basically has no effect on the canopy. What's more is the loop is finished and it, the kite is not traveling through the air very fast anymore. So now we need to recover from the situation and this is where the pendulum comes in. What the rider does is sheets out, letting the kite fly back upwind. Now this does a few things. First, it basically kills almost all the lift generated and that's why you can see the black arrow is shortened the tension is less there's less force on the rider there's still a little bit of vertical and a little bit horizontal but not that much the rider is virtually swinging and falling in the direction of the red arrow and the kite is going the opposite direction so this is not a true pendulum because the top of the pendulum is moving in tandem with the rider so Back at this slide, you can see this is where slacking of the lines can occur because the kite is not able to pull. The force diminishes and you might get slack in your lines where you actually get a true free fall until you get to here where you fall below it and you regain your tension. So now that the kite is back over the rider, it is flying upwind. The apparent wind over this kite in this scenario is more than wind speed because it's wind speed plus the velocity, the ground velocity of the kite. So the kite is flying upwind, the rider is still swinging downwind, and this is where he's going to sheet in and pull some of that speed back into lift. You can see the black arrow is increased again. That's line tension building. It's slowing his fall. Ideally, he's going to be coming down pretty slow now, maybe even getting a second bump and just traveling pretty quickly. Now, if he's smart, he's going to let the kite fly behind him, and then we're going to get these force vectors split again. We still have a very large vertical component. 
we need to constantly fight gravity, otherwise we're going to fall. But we also have a small horizontal component and that's going to slow the rider because he is going extremely quickly right now. If he lands, he can easily crash. This will slow him down, make him a better landing. And the kite is looping back around downwind to get back into a powered state. go slide by slide boom 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 the loop, loop begins notice that that speed the kite is looping is traveling extremely quickly compared to here it's it's moving but not that much not that fast per frame here and then once we get to here this is one frame's movement And it is really yanking right here. Now notice that the loop basically stops. And he's, here's where you can stall it if you want to stall it to get the timing of that recovery swing better. Again, traveling upwind here, easy to get apparent wind with the wind already blowing from the right to the left, add that to the ground speed of the kite. Badoosh.